just doesn't quite get there. There's a left by Reddick, a left by Tyson, and now goes Reddick. What a counterpunch. Clean up a cut, a hook in the right hand, and another hook, and he Six. is in trouble. Down for the Seven. second. Both men throwing bombs. A quick right sends Young hurtling through the air into the ropes and crashes to the canvas. The referee picks up the count, but Young is out. See this? Tyson walking right through. He's wild with the left hook as Burbick, and Tyson clips him with the left hand. Look at this! Combination! And Burbick ready to go, but he stays on his feet. Another right hand clips him. Excited for low blows in a couple of fights back in England. Tyson digging to the body. Left hook to the jaw. Another left hook upstairs. A left uppercut staggers Williams. Johnson misses and gets hit with a punching left hook to the body. They got advantage attention and good. Tyson unleashing uppercuts to the body, digging to the chain. It startled Holyfield. It sends him back a bit. He hurt him to the body. That's what it was. You heard him. Tyson looks right now like he's in it for the long haul here. And there was a big right hand. Tucker says, no, no, I'm not hurt. I've always found that to mean I'm... The referee tells the fighters to continue. Another avalanche of leather and Singleton goes down for the third time, automatically ending the fight. Steele's one of the best. I don't think anybody can question his integrity or his honesty. A flurry in the center of the ring. Midway a fighter cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. Uh, going to be a really fascinating contest to see how Richardson attempts to use that advantage in height and reach. Castiavato, of course. Uh... Oh, right hand by Tyson. Oh, my. What a hook by Ruddick. And back comes Tyson. What a gutty performance by Tyson. Rock my two tremendous. There's the uppercut. And a big left hand right on the jaw of Pinkland. Bill's Lane that stopped that nonsense because it was starting to butt heads. Oh. Tyson with a left hook, a right up, and that down goes McNeely. He should be hanging on. Now with a right hand, a left hand. He's going to hang on, and he'll stop the fight. Down he goes. Oh, he's hurt. It's all over. It's bicycle. A short tilt and left, and left with drops down and through the ropes. Last fight, uh, a six-round decision victory on July 25th in Birmingham, Michigan over Vernon Bridges. And look at Tyson go right after Kennedy. Now, Kennedy is a boxer but gets knocked down with the first left hook he takes. Look at the power already from Mike Tyson. That was a body shot that took him down. Here comes Mike Spikes in. He leaves with the right hand. Down he goes. I don't think you'll get up from this. Mike Spinks is laying flat on his back. The count is up to five. And six. And seven. And eight. He won't be. Oh, that, that yeah. was a tremendous left hand. The referee wipes his gloves and Tyson moves in to finish it. Tyson explodes and Halpin goes reeling backwards. It's all over every time.
Every time he comes in, he's an old. He's not going to let Mike do what Mike wants to do on the inside. A nice straight right hand there by Mike Tyson. Curtis. Nice right hand by Tyson. Dane for the punches of Razor Ruddick. Big mistake. Oh, hard shot. There goes Ruddick again. He's down for the second time. Four, five. Tyson forces Frazier to a corner. And catches Frazier with an uppercut, followed by a salvo of leather. And Frazier crumbles. Tyson goes to a neutral corner as the referee picks up the count. It's all over. And one of the most vicious displays of punching ever seen. Mike Tyson demolishes Marvis Frazier. Referee's doing an excellent job, Steve. Right-footed pivot, swing around on your opponent's side, and then crack. Oh, he got a right uppercut, out of the right uppercut, and down goes Mathis. See, he stepped back and did it again, stepped oh, off and around, six, and ripped that uppercut seven. to where Mathis was ducking. I don't blame him. So, Frank Cappuccino will have a busy night tonight, and this six-rider may not last very long with the kind of shots there. Left right, right to the face. 38-year-old Larry Holmes could not continue that round at the right. Oh, a big right hand! And down goes the former champion. Tyson again, another one of those fresh youngsters, only 19 years of age. Long is 27. Oh, oh wow. My. Well, that was quick. Tyson putting him down here early in the first one. Cappuccino looking on closely. So he's been working a great deal on his movement the past few months, and here we go. And McNeely, as advertised, comes right at Mike Tyson. Down goes McNeely. Seconds into the first round. Was in trouble in both the first and tenth rounds, and now he's in trouble here. Blood coming out from the nose of Jesse Ferguson, the right uppercut of Tyson. In the corner and was distracted before he got punched. Again, he lunges in, it gets caught! The left hand drops Tillis onto the seat of his pants as round four is coming to a close. I'm not so sure that his left is, is right. <laughs> He just he can't get off two punches. I mean, that is a mark of a shot fighter when you can't get off punches. If, oh, a scoop right here. Down goes Bova. That's all it took. One shot. He may not get up. Jacob will, I promise you, have never faced a human whirlwind like he's having to face in Albany tonight. And he's clipped with a right hand. Lucky he was going back. It wasn't then. Left hand. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. So do you want to continue? He said, yeah, hell yeah. That's a fighter. And that's it. I want to say that there is no way Rebolta could win the fight. Few uppercuts he's landed in the fight. We've been looking for that all night. Oh, that's a nice uppercut that time. The drop spot to Douglas. The counts up to two and three and four. His eyes from where I'm sitting look fairly clear. At the edge, should be either way outside or way inside. Anywhere else, he's in danger. Oklahoma State. Right now he backs off from a sharp right uppercut to the body by Tyson. Again, a double right hand to the body and the chin. Down goes Lorenzo Boy. The Shoot. count is five. The count is six. The fact that he's never been off his feet before, and now he switches for a moment to the southpaw stance and tries to rock two right hooks off Tyson's head. And there's about 20 seconds to go, and there is a solid shot. Comes back slow and it drops. So right count right hand by Mike Tyson is inviting. And there was an uppercut. What a shot. Three, four, five. Tyson should be doing a lot more movement than he is now. 
He's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. Tyson, 5'10", go late, well, a good 6-3. Left hook, good night. What a great shot. There's a mandatory eight. They keep wheeling him. That left hook just caught him and sent him right to the canvas. 23 pound weight oh, advantage, and he put it all right, there. The right to the head, and it's all over. Goodbye. I hope he's not hurt because that was a brutal, wide open punch. He did not have his guard up, and Mike. And that's how he planned to be a pro fighter. I'm the master of the pinpoint. My my shots are so accurate and so precise, not to be egotistic. But when they land, they're so precise. I you can't. I just can't help it who you are. You have to go down because there's a law when Mike Tyson hits you.